still alive. The lotus. And what about... Ooh. Is he there? Can I find him? There he is. He Still alive too, my Pleco. Yay! Hey everybody, just Spencer Butterfly Square Garden. Welcome back. We did a thing. We took our lotus pond, which basically started in my room up there. And my parents were like, no, no, no. If that cracks, you know, it's gonna flood the house. So no, no. And I was like, I know, I don't like it in here either. You know when something just doesn't sit quite right and you know you can make it better, so. I put it there. It was originally right over here. And we're gonna have family over next week for my sister's bridal shower because she's married. And you know, it just, it didn't sit right. It was like a temporary thing these guys i'm probably gonna have to move as well no i kind of like those i do like those that's you know it's got milkweed it's got sugar snap peas why would i get rid of it and it's hiding this big ass ugly air conditioner that my dad is never gonna get rid of he's like i paid more than i should have and you know just take the l get rid of it but he's he's not going to so now it's just going to be a nice trellis for these uh, native plants. I call them fairy flowers when the flowers are so like microscopic that they, they open and close right away and they only feed the little tiny ants or something. So those are for the fairies and for the butterflies. Milkweed is growing. The squash, I can see a flower. So we're going to have squash. Um, this is going to be the next thing that I change. All of these little milkweed seeds. Um, I don't know. I kind of like, I like the way that it's set up. I'm going to put a little more dirt up to the top when they get a little taller and then the roots will grow over and grow down. And then the cardboard will turn into compost. So, you know what? I think I'm going to leave these. I just have to find a better spot for them. That's the beauty of container gardening is you can just move them. I might put them on the side of the house, but I'm like, I only want to keep things in the backyard and the front of the, the, everything else can be for everyone else. Um, but it's, it's going, it's going really well. So I'm just happy that that got moved. It was in the sun and the water was getting really hot. I didn't really want to kill the fish once the pleco, I might need to get a second pleco because this green water is really green and it's probably going to flourish faster than the pleco can eat it. So we'll see. I might get another pleco. And the jasmine in the fairy gate portal is blooming. What else, you know? Check that out. That's probably the biggest flower I've got. My hydrangea, the first ever successful cutting. Some milkweed cuttings, everything else over here. I love, love, love my willow tree. Another successful cutting. All of my milkweed is blooming. They're like four foot tall right now. I love my milkweed. All of the butterflies are gonna come and lay their eggs and then it'll be monarch season. It's monarch season now, right now. What else? That's it, you know. Pine berries doing well. Strawberries doing well. Those are Ozark. That's wild strawberry. My blueberry plant is like my favorite thing ever right now. I can't wait for blueberries. La la la. My milkweed corner. It smells so good. In this corner, this chair is set up in my favorite spot in the whole world right now. 
because I can sit right next to my wall of jasmine. And wow, I just really made a big difference cleaning this up. There was more water in the buckets and I'm like, I want to take care of the lotus. This is my other lotus. I'm going to give it to my cousins to put in the pond by their house. And lotus is like one of the weirdest plant roots. It grows like a vine underground. It's weird. So yeah, just wanted to say that's where my lotus pond was and now it's over there and I love it and it's, it's good. And my dad just cut the grass. He really cares about the grass. It looks amazing. This whole backyard is fantastic. It's wonderful. I love it. I just wanted to say that that's all I wanted to say. It was hard to, to move it, but I did. Yay! Okay, everybody, I have to get ready for a piano lesson. I'm gonna rinse off and maybe close my eyes for a second because I'm always so tense. It's like hard to play piano when you're so tense. <laughs> and that's me, I'm tightly wound. I'm, I, you know, for someone who, who's like so big on meditation and being peaceful, I'm like not. La 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 la. Don't you love our sycamore tree? No one pays any attention to it, but that's probably like more important than the house. You know, like we have a tree on our property. That's really cool. Ooh, do you see that? Is that a cabbage butterfly or a southern white? Anyways, we just saw a butterfly pass through. We get lots of red admirals. They're like a relative of the painted lady. I do see painted ladies, monarchs, swallowtails, eastern black swallowtails, occasionally a swallowtail. I mean, um, a tiger swallowtail. And I have even seen um, a hummingbird butterfly or hummingbird moth. I forget what they're called, but I saw that once and it was really cool. Okay, everybody, take care. Say goodbye to the jasmine. I've got mint. Oh, man. I could go on forever. There's too much. Love you. Bye. Hey, y'all. So I just finished my piano lesson and I'm feeling really good and happy because we practice, you know, we, we go through our song like once a day, twice from feeling good. And I'll probably start doing more now that like you, we know the song and it's not like my brain is smoking by the end. It's kind of autopilot. And um, yeah, so you're going to see more of my piano. I can't wait for my next concert once I get a little better. And I'm going upstate for my mom's birthday. And, you know, we're just feeling really happy. Um, yeah, la la la, vlog, 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 vlog. So I'm going home, I'll see you guys later. I just wanted to say, I love piano, I love you guys. And, you know, if you like something, do it for you, you know? So, okay, bye. I just want to say I love the smell of milkweed flowers. Swamp milkweed is amazing. Common milkweed is also amazing. It smells pink with a little bit of yellow. It smells like Easter, like, you know, really soft. It's like a, a just a, a fragrant, flowery smell. It's very perfumed. So if you like milkweed, then you're gonna love the smell. It's beautiful. It's an exotic, strangely adapted flower that was developed almost specifically for, for monarchs. Um, the way that they get pollinated is, is unlike almost any other flower. And the seed pods are just so alien looking, so. Plant native milkweed. I'm gonna go check out my garden in the park. Bye.
So actually I changed my mind. My parents say they're gonna be home by two o'clock. It's 1.30 and I really want to go get a couple goldfish for our lotus pond because I just looked it up and goldfish can survive in green water. I think I'm gonna get one more pleco and a couple goldfish. And then I'm gonna go away for the weekend and come back and see how they're doing. Yay! Okay, bye. like smelling flowers, plant some sweet alyssum. Also, the squirrels are digging the shit out of my milkweed. That's okay. They're still doing well. And the roots will survive and it'll grow back bigger and stronger, just like a super saiyan. So... This thing was smashed. I thought that it was dead. I almost cut it, but I'm glad I didn't. It's still alive. Milkweed, 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 milkweed blooming, mint, there's weeds that I'm not picking because I'm too lazy. That's it, just a quick little showdown of the garden. I just felt like coming out because it's my happy place and now I'm going to go home, but just wanted to say I love you, I love my garden, love caterpillars, monarchs, butterflies, beautiful day. Now I gotta go home, clean up, get ready to go upstate, pack my bags. We're going upstate for my mom's birthday. Plant native milkweed. Bye, 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 bye. Bye, 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 bye. Little cute little kitty. My little little kitty. All right, guys, I just want to show you another thing. Same thing. I revamped the area. One of my favorite places in the whole world. Probably my favorite place in the whole world. Got my chair with all of my jasmine. I like to sit here. It's my new favorite place to edit videos because it smells so good. It smells like jasmine and I love jasmine. It smells really good. I can smell it. I smell it. Anyways. Wow, can you smell it? So I've got my milkweed seedlings over here. I continually add dirt so that they have enough nutrients and then there's gonna be spillage, spillover, overflow, so that these whole things are gonna be just entirely filled with milkweed roots and every year it'll come back stronger, just like these guys did. And then I've got my milkweed over here, my willow tree, my lotus, Ponds, my fairy gateway portal that is has uh, the Susie Q, her soul is over there standing guard, but not really. This is what she sounds like because she was a pug shih tzu and that's how she used to sound. And la la la, under the tarp is my worm farm. I got a I gotta get in there one of those days, but I've been busy. Here's my other worm tower, you know. 
This is my dirt factory. It just, can, the worms, if I dig like a little bit, I don't even have to go that far down. But there's, there's worms in here. And I just break up the clumps. I let the sun dry it out and then I just scoop it out. And I can literally just put it on the seedlings like that. And that's where I get all of my fertilizer from. And my dirt. Don't ever buy dirt. Don't buy dirt. Make your own. I have my, my worms making it for me. So yeah, you know, I'm all dirty now. I just wanted to say that I'm happy with the results. I love, love, love. Love, love, love. I'm gonna sit right there and edit videos and I hope you guys had a good day. I'm going upstate tomorrow. We're gonna get more footage of that. I put a little more dirt on my apple tree. Wouldn't it be cool if we got apples this year? We're gonna have apples, raspberries, blueberry, strawberry, pineberry, and sugar snap peas. La, la 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 don't you love gardening i love gardening okay gotta go to work and edit this video i'll talk to you guys later bye wow it smells so good it smells so good